And the other way is to use a function for the values similar to what Mike was showing that would find that space on the right, that last space on the right. And in essence, what it's doing is doing a reverse string search. This is what the subject of my topic is, a reverse string search. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass out a handout that has a copy of that function. And it has it in a very nice way. Just take Okay, in C2, if you look at this handout under A, you have a picture of what essentially is showing on the, on the screen. You have an if function. You have the find, you have the write, the lend, substitute. Now, how did it line up like this? If you recall, when you want to enter text into a cell and you want it to go to the next line, Okay, if I want to say Brookdale, computer on the next line, how do I do that? Alt, enter. You can't hit enter because enter will go where? It defaults and goes down. But if I do alt, enter, it goes down to the next line. So if I say Brookdale computer user group, Sorry about that. Distract. Brookdale. Yeah, no, just, uh, Brookdale. Alt, enter. Computer. I'm okay now. Just can't see the keys. Okay, so if I press enter now, it's in one cell, but it dropped down to the next line. So whoever created this function nicely, conveniently hit Alt Enter for me. It's not perfect, but it's a lot easier than having it go completely horizontal. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Definitely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work backwards here and also to explain the logic. Essentially, the logic is to find the last space in the string. Let's go back to, to A, A, um, A1. The logic, if I want the value, only the values, I have to find the last space. Got it? Okay. Everybody understand what I'm, my logic is? Yep. Okay, that's the why we're doing this. So, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we're going to do the substitute function. And what it's doing is substituting for all the spaces in the string, what? A no, no, it's no, no tilde here. Somebody's seeing a tilde? Yeah, no, yeah, a no, blank. No, blank. Okay, what it's doing essentially is wiping out all the spaces. Got it? All right, so if I hit F9, you see the string yeah. without any spaces. Okay, keep that in your mind. Just substituting it, a space for nothing. Right, something for nothing. Love it. Love it? Yeah, but we don't know why yet. We don't know why yet. Wait, 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 we don't know why. Why we got a nothing. Okay. Now, if I take the next function, the len, what's the len doing? It's counting the spaces. It's counting the string sans spaces. Counting the length of the string without the spaces. That's important. So Count it's a contiguous letter. It's, it's counting all the letters. And, and, it, and incidentally, this is, uh, please, no, normal spaces, no ASCII 160s. Okay? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, all right, so if I highlight len, and it's a little bit easier for me, you see, I couldn't get the parentheses before. It's easier when you have the uh, function going, the complex function going vertically. Mm -hmm. If I hit F9, 35. So there's 35 what? Characters. Characters, no spaces. Okay? So now, I'm doing len of A. What's len of A? The original. The original. The original. Okay. So there's 40 with spaces, 35 without spaces. If I subtract the two, what do I get? 
How many spaces, spaces there were? I get spaces. how many spaces. Number of spaces. Okay. That's dangerous. Okay. Pardon me? That's dangerous. Suppose you had a double space. He still? Ah, I'm replacing with no, no, nothing. Okay. Okay. The, the, and you're I'm not work really replacing anything. All you're doing is calculating. We're I am calculating. Yes. Right I'm now. trying to find out how many spaces are there. This okay. One phrase is telling us how many spaces. Right. Find out how many spaces there are. Okay. Okay. Let me back up one second, Fred. Sure. Because I missed the first few seconds. This is one uh, um, expression. The from the if to the last parenthesis. Very very and complex. All yes. One one large expression. Correct. Right now, and you've been able to break it down so that we have it in six lines. No. No. Seven. No. When when I grabbed it from the internet and in the world in the world of plagiarism, I have a footnote which is still plagiarism. It's not mine. I, I grabbed it from Excel Tactics. There's a link at the bottom of the handout, uh -huh. which will tell take you to the uh, to the site that has um, these functions. And I did see the repeat, Mike. Right. And I didn't understand it either. That's why I skipped over that one. It had, it had several suggestions. So, so all we're doing here is finding out the number of spaces. That's all we're doing. Fair? Yeah. Okay. Now, there's a reason for that. But you got to and, and understand my strategy. Instead of working top down, I'm working from the back, or probably the inside out, back to the forward. Now comes the substitute. The substitute has four arguments here. I think you understand the first three arguments. A1 is the original string. It substitute where it finds a space. It's putting in a tilde. However, it calculated that there are five spaces, which means it's doing the fifth incidence. Where's the fifth incidence? Over where, Sandy? Right. The far right before the value. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Then you, uh, uh, you did not do a trim oh. before you did that. Uh, I, I think I threw in a trim somewhere there, but I, I, I'll show you the trim I did later. Later on, Steve. Yeah. I did a trim later on. Yeah. But, but understand, understand substitute has... Okay. Rich, Rich, you want to restate, restate it so to Sandy, to everybody? Yeah, because I think you understood it. Go ahead, no, say it. Simple question. I'm sorry. I oh, can't quite. see. Is that a tilde? I guess it's quotes, tilde quotes. Yes. Right, and the highlighting. Yeah, let, let me. He's like, that's a repetitious function, isn't it? A repeated function, the tilde? No, no, no. 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 He's, just, he's just using it as a character. Oh, it's just a character. character. Because you have it in quotes, just, of course. That he doesn't yeah. think should be in the original database. That, that is correct. I mean, you, you could put anything in there. You could put anything you want. Right. It could, the, the, author, uh, yeah, the, the author of this function decided to put a tilde. I see. It's an okay. unlikely character yeah. to be found in your string. Yes. Yeah. Now, if it's, if it's going to be in your string, then you, know, you don't want to use it. Yeah. But, but the Five is key here because it's only going to repeat it at the. It's only going to put it in at the fifth incidence. Let's observe. Okay, I highlight from substitute, and let me get the right number of parentheses. I think. Uh, let's see, one more down to here. The green, the green. I think so. Okay, F9. Okay, observe. It left the space. Left the space two. Left the space three. Left the space four. Tilde is before the value because it's the fifth incidence. Mm -hmm. Got it? No. Got, Got it. Okay. Where did you show that it was the fifth? In the year? Okay, I'll go back to that again. It's calculating the length of the first substitution where it took the spaces and put nothing, so it's the original. It's the original uh, character. Non, non space characters. No, I'm, what I'm asking is where do you show that you're putting the tilde in for the fifth space? Uh, okay. All right, Steve, I'm going to start over again because substitute in this case is sub, all the spaces are substituting with nulls. 
in the original string. Yeah. Okay, so the original string had five spaces. Right. Now, if I re place those spaces with nothing, what's the length of the string? It's five less. Well, it's all of that, yeah. Okay, that's all you need to know. But no, so you're, you're assuming that the data always has five spaces? No, 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 no. Can have any number of spaces. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm telling you, when you put the tilde in, you use that five. Where did you use that five? Because it's... It's all right. Only put the all right. In the fifth space. All right. Let, let's Sandy explain it. Sandy, explain it to Steve, in so everybody words, can hear. If you look at the original, a one, a one, a one. Oh, where are we? B one or A1? A one? A one. A one. A one. It doesn't show. We're not seeing okay, all, all the original. Okay, but in the original A one. Okay, in the original A one, it. If it had, if you look at it, it had five spaces in it, and you're putting... B is the first thing you have on the screen. Yeah. Sandy, what it did was, it counted all the characters in the first string with the spaces in it. Make so it was wider. Then, yeah, it counted, right. then it took it, all the spaces out and counted it wider. Yeah, but then, that's with that five, that's right. okay, with that five, with that five, He's using that 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 calculation of the original, you know, original length versus the concatenated length. Uh, or, I mean, with the spaces. He, that's where he got his original five, and that five is the last argument of the substitute function. That's what I'm looking for. Let's see the substitute function. Right? And that's where the tilde comes in. Yeah. So count the number of spaces that's in A1 right now, right. Steve. No, I, I got confused with that. I'm that asking where to use the five to get the tilde in the fifth it, okay. space. But he's saying the now highlight the substitute, substitute function. function. Okay, I'm going to highlight the substitute function, Steve. No, he got that. No, I think that you got, got, that. got that. The one above it. The one one above one above it. Oh, the one above it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, but he would, all right, this, this doesn't do anything by itself unless I use this fourth yeah, argument. Exactly right. Uh, uh, the fourth argument. Became the last argument. That's what I'm asking. You're essentially That's creating, the part of the you're essentially creating the fifth space. You're essentially creating the first, the, the two substitutes are one phrase. You're substituting based on him. the length I of five. Got it. Got I know it. you got it. I got to get oh. it now. <laughs> we get it together. Okay. The two riches here, you know what I mean? By <laughs> yeah. That's the idea. Okay. <laughs> Alan, are you getting it? Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it. That's, <laughs> enjoying it. <laughs> That's the important thing. Great. All right, but then why? Next meeting we have to check our <laughs> weapons. All right, we're, 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 we're working backwards so you can understand the logic. It's replacing that fifth space with a tilde. Bingo. Now all we have to do is do what? We have to find where the tilde is. Let, let, let's underscore that this is a fundamental building block of writing all kinds of formulas, mm -hmm. right? I, 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 I would find this very, very atypical. This is very, very complex. Yeah. Yeah. This, well, is, this is not... Do, if you're going to do anything, you're going to want to find a place which is the last space. Well, that's, that's where we're getting. That's where we're getting. That's, that's where we're getting. And that's yeah. a building block. That's the why. That's the why. You're both right. Excel. What happens in the way I see it is sometimes I'm building one formula to the next cell to the next... I've got four formulas representing a number at the fifth line, fifth yeah. column. Yeah. That's what I want to get is my fifth yeah. column. Yeah. And I've got four formulas before it. And then when sometimes I'll combine them. I'll combine either two of them into one. This is a Well, line. he's doing it all yeah. in one formula, well, one cell. Well, if, if I were to do this from ground zero, I would just do one function per column. Function yeah. Exactly. But That's but I because said. I grabbed it from the internet, my first task was to try to understand what was the logic. Now, yeah. as I worked out the logic, I understood the why. And John hit it. You're trying to find where is where is that that last space. That's a whole objective here to find where the last space is. Once you find the last space, it's trivial to find a right string. Yeah. That's that's it. So and that whole formula just tells you 
the last space is either the fifth, the sixth, the fourth, the third, however many spaces. No, it, do, it doesn't. It does the opposite. It's go, fine works from left to right. So because yeah. now here we go with fine. If I add fine. No, but to get to put the tilde back. in the right place. Yeah. Some of these, like maybe row four, only has four spaces, not yeah. five. So that's the last part there. That substitute thing finds out which one it is. Yeah, four, think, five, six, yeah. eight, ten. Whatever yeah, eight I think that's an important factor. Last. It's eventually going to allow you to uh, have Dollar Tree correctly or Console Fiber yeah. online sales mm -hmm. in all you know that gotten correctly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, if if you if you recall the um, the original length of the string was uh, forty or forty characters yeah. with, yeah. with spaces. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, it, with the find, the find is finding where the tilde that the substitute put the tilde in. Find is finding where it put the tilde in. Right. It found it at the thirty-sixth position. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the old SAT fence problem mm -hmm. because it starts at thirty-six. 37, 38, 39, 40, there's your, there's your five mm -hmm. characters. So now it does len, oh, uh, now, it's, now it can do the write function. The write function of the string. And go for four spaces. No, no. Um, tells you what 40, the last. 40 uh, minus 36 is four. What position is the last uh, digit? Four. 40 minus 36 is 4, so it goes 4 spaces. Why am I messing four, up here? You have character positions. Okay, not spaces, character positions. Right. <laughs> Big difference. Oh. Okay, so, so, so the right function is doing what it's supposed to do. It's, it's calculated. It's calculating the... Uh, the length of A1... Minus what the find did, found the 36th position, which leaves four. And so the right function is working as advertised. And it gives you the string 2.68. But it correctly hopes with if it was a five character or six character number. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, because because in, in this this is just the first one. This this next one, you know, obviously comes up with fourteen. We could do the same thing here if I do the uh, uh, the length of the substitute. Still not getting the right number of parentheses here. Well, we'll believe you if you just start to do from right. Yeah, well, go up to right, because that, you, you show this. Red to red, right? Yeah. Yeah, 14.31. Yeah. Okay. So, but they're, let's... They're text now. They're not numbers, right? Correct, correct, okay. correct. You and, have to and, transfer them to value. Correct, and that, that's uh, the, the, uh, the, the function that I found on the Internet was strictly for text. And what I did essentially was take stepwise, I took that cell and did a value function. Okay. So what have we learned here? The substitute uh, function has an ins instance, I call it an instance, uh, instance argument. So uh, as an example here, if I put in a string with spaces and it, I want to replace it with a tilde, comma five, it does it on the fifth incidence only. only. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason for this example here. Right. Is that large enough for you guys to see? Yeah. Now it's good. Okay. So so this string is an example of substitute with the instance because I use the fifth uh, the uh, fourth argument with the comma five and so it puts that there, there's a one space, two spaces, three space, four space, and what would have been the fifth space now has a tilde. The find finds its position in the string. So what I'm doing here, I'm just referring back to the previous string where there is a tilde, it finds it, and it finds it at the 36th position, left 
to right. We subtract the position for a total length of the string. So if I go and look at my original string, which is cell A8, which you can't see, and subtract the where the find found it, uh, that's going to give me the fourth position. The right will take the original string and it's referring back here now to the number four and takes those number of characters which gives me the 1.07. Now, a little problem here with the way this uh, function was created and that is what if there were no spaces within the string? You get an error. You get an error, okay? Now, what I'm doing here, I'm not going to go back to the original string. I'm just going to make it easier to see. Well, you said no error. You said error. Pardon me? Well, your first comment in your function was error. Yes, yes. But that, that's why I'm asking the question, and I'm going to explain why the author of that function put in if is error, and I modified it somewhat. I'm referring to A, B, C, D, E, F. There is no space in that string. Okay, what happens if I put a space in it? It does whatever it's supposed to do, and that's, that is to find the space within C14. So it has a space, and it found it left to right again, one, two, three, four, it found the space. But if I take out the space, there are no spaces, therefore you get an error. Yeah. But, so, if you, but if you have a space when you try to get the value of DEF, you're going to have problems. If I have, a, if I have a space, it's OK. Well, it'll do something. It still may not be correct, because it's sort of garbage in anyway. Because it doesn't have a date, or it doesn't have a name, or it doesn't have a value. No, no, no I'm, just, I'm just showing you uh, what happens with the find function. Yeah. And why it would crap out if if the author had not put in the if error. Mm -hmm. You see, he has if is error. Mm -hmm. What it's doing is, if the find function fails, it's going to return the original string a one. Is, is error? Does this error refer to the entire you know, lines three to eight, or strictly the find? Strictly to the find. Oh. Could there be other errors in other stuff? Uh, I, I I don't know. I I don't I don't um, I don't think that that I think the way it was designed it was purposely targeted towards yeah. towards uh, the, the text that, that was given. Yes, Steve. Do an experiment for me. To go back to A one on the screen. Control home. Okay. Now after A1, after that 2.68, put a space there and see how it uh, works. Uh, okay, Steve. Well, I think the no, no, error no. might catch No, 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 no. No, no, no. I, I, I purposely avoided that here, but I will show you that I did use the trim function. Oh, okay. I did use the trim function. I'm, I'm aware of that, Steve. Yeah. And, I, and, and correctly I so. The correctly so. catch it. Correct me, so I would have done a trim beforehand. Yeah, I, I knew I didn't have a space at the end or at the beginning. Okay, but you're you're correct. And in my my function, which I'm going to show you in the second half, is taking that in consideration. So now, what I'm curious is, with that error function, of course, that case. But I I did use the trim function in yeah. my function. Okay. Okay. All I did though was that if is error, I use instead of that I use the function if error. If error is actually combining if is error. It's more efficient. And what it does, if there's an error, uh, it gives you the value if there's an error. Otherwise, it gives you the value. So uh, if I create an error here, on the find function. Oh, I'm sorry, if, if there is no error in the find function, it does give you the result of C14, which is um, C14. Oh, no. 
it gives you F14, F14, which is four. If it is an error, it's just the way it's programmed, the way it's programmed right now, it just gives you the string. That, that's the way the, the author of this function programmed it.